hello everyone hope you're right in today's video i'm going to show you how my garden is doing in mid-april so this is my front yard as you can see this is a formal design front yard and i have got some patio containers here with spring flowering bulbs and they are looking amazing they have been flowering for me for a few weeks now and it's been really frosty at nights especially but they're still doing great here you can see the tulips in this container and there are two varieties in it i think and there is some soft pink ones and some bright pink ones and some doubles and some peony like flowers and there are two uh, creamish white flowers as well and i'm really loving these flowers they are absolutely cheerful and eye-catching and they have performed really well Moving on to the second container here I have got a mix of daffodil bulbs in this container and the one next to it you can see there are different kinds of flowers this stem has got three flowers on it and this is like soft white with a buttery yellow center and ruffled center and this is absolutely beautiful so basically three in one you get three flowers on one stem absolutely beautiful here I have got ruffled ones as well and this look amazing they are like really full and so many petals and some buttery yellow ones as well these are also three blooms per stem and some normal daffodils as well so really a good mix of daffodil bulbs in this container and not to mention I have already cut many of these flowers for cut flower arrangements and you can see the same here ruffled ones and buttery yellow ones and basically the normal daffodils and all of them look amazing i have some ice follies in them as well which i have got for my cut flower arrangements so i have been cutting from these two containers and they still look absolutely full so really a beautiful mix of daffodil bulbs and really eye-catching moving on in this container i have got more toilet bulbs there are some reddish orange blooms with yellow margins they have been blooming for a few weeks and i have cut some of them for cut flower arrangement and there are so many which are still starting to open and they are like strappy yellow orange and they are really beautiful i have also got a delphinium plant in it from last year which i may transplant in my border later on when these bulbs are done blooming so once these bulbs will be done blooming i will transplant in my flower border and then I will have these containers for my summer annual plants. Here in this hanging basket, I have got pansy plants, which I started from seed last year. So I sowed the seeds in June, July somewhere, and then I transplanted them in bigger crops in September. And they have been in my greenhouse since then. And I planted these hanging baskets in March. And you can see one of them is already blooming. Some of them are a bit behind. So they are catching up and there are four hanging baskets in my front yard and two in backyard and all of them have pansy plants which i started from seed so one which is blooming is looking really beautiful and the others will catch soon so this front yard is like a flower garden plus a mini orchard i have got five fruit trees in this front yard this is the plum tree plum opal and you can see it is full of blooms this is the first year of this tree it is semi dwarf self fertile variety and i'm really looking forward to harvesting some nice crop or plums this year underneath this tree i have planted more pansy plants which i also started from seed the same way i did with my hanging baskets you can see all these lovely blooms on them and that's the beauty of starting them from own collected seeds you can't really expect what color blooms you will get so they are like lots of different colors and like some of shady patterns and i'm really amazed to see how they have come up i'm loving all these colors and patterns and basically they are uh, putting on a nice spring show in my garden here and soon they will fill out these borders and look amazing here in the next square i have got more pansy plants with absolutely beautiful colors really nice and cheerful and basically i have got six pansy plants in each square and all of them have different colors and patterns really beautiful and this one is absolutely beautiful it is like pink margins with yellow center and you can see how 
lovely they look and this one is unique it is very dark purple and you can't really see it from far away but when you come close it looks amazing so really nice colors when you start them from seeds because they pollinate each other and you get amazing mix of colors here is my cherry stella tree which is in its first year and is starting to open its birds i can see lots of flower birds on it as well and basically some nice cherries this year too so some people say you should not mm, let your fruit trees flower in the first year and let them develop fruits it's okay if you want to do that but i would like to harvest some crop this year as well and soon they will be nice and strong to produce more in coming years here in the next square more fancy plants and really beautiful colors again And here I have got a nice shade of pink as well. So maybe I can try to harvest the seeds more specifically this year of some specific colors if I want to. This is apple scrumptious tree and it is starting to open its birds. There are flower birds as well. So let's see how they produce for me. And this is also a self fertile dwarf variety. Moving on to the final square, I have got a pear tree which is absolutely beautiful and mature tree and it has really nice canopy and it has got loads and loads of pears which are starting to open and soon I'll be harvesting some nice juicy pears. Here in the middle circular border, I have got a circle of Astradomasis plants which are coming back nicely and this is my cherry morello tree which is nice for cooking because these cherries are a bit sour so you can't eat them directly but you can use them in cooking making sauces and jams and it is loaded with blooms and you can see all these birds they will turn into fruit so i may have to do something on this tree because it's loaded with birds here in this patio container i have planted gladiolus bulbs which are sprouting and here in this flower border i have got eunomus plant which is growing nicely here is a clematis which i did pruning on and um, geraniums which are hardy geraniums and they are coming back this is my hydrangea paniculata plant it is budding up and my rose plant this is pink flowering rose and this is like nice bushy variety of rose which gets loaded with blooms during the summer and i have got a spire plant which is leafing out and this is the red rose plant looking good and here i have planted some foxgloves and hollyhocks which i started from seeds last year they are growing nicely i have got an ornamental grass as well here i have planted a climbing rose compassion recently and it is starting to send out its leaves here is my hookra plant hookra palace purple or purple palace and this is starting to produce new leaves this is camellia which is in its second year still small but doing okay here are my echinacea plants which are coming back nicely in the back i have got penny plant which is coming nice and thick and this is heather plant which is turned blooming and more foxgloves and this is my acer tree looking really beautiful it has got new leaves which are reddish brown and really beautiful i like the structure of this tree is this japanese jewel it's a tree and I have got some more foxgloves in the back and some lavender plants in the front which I started from seeds. One more hookra plant and next to it I have got hydrangea microphylla which produce absolutely beautiful clumps of purple bluish flowers. And here I have got some more foxgloves and phlox plants which are coming back nicely. And a hookra plant which is producing new leaves. So the border is looking great. Some plants are coming back from Roman C from last year and there are some new plants. So I'm still working on my borders and soon they will be mature enough to produce a beautiful show all year round. And I'm loving these containers with spring flowering bulbs in them. And now I will take you to my back garden which is more like productive garden. I have got vegetables in here and some good flowers. So here I have got my seedlings. Uh, aubergine seedlings, papa seedlings, cucumber seedlings, they are doing really well. Here in this container I have got snapdragon plants from last year which you can see have starting to leaf out. So snapdragons are kind of perennial in our zone 8B so they can survive some cold and frost. There have been some damage on some branches which I will prune 
and basically this is the view of my back garden and i have got an arch here which i will plant with some climbers and here in this patio container i have got my blackberry bush which is looking good it has got some old leaves as well but new growth is starting to burst open and it is loaded with new birds which will soon be flowering and producing blackberries and moving on to the other side of arch i have got another planter with a raspberry plant and loganberry bush so raspberry plant is from last year and is coming back nicely on the label it said it was autumn fruiting raspberry but it behaves more like summer fruiting raspberries so let's see how does it perform it has got some nice leaves and soon it will be producing more birds and in the back of the container i have got loganberry bush which is nice and huge you can see there are new canes sprouting from the um, soil and this is the old crane from last year which will bear fruit for me this year because it has got some nice birds on it which are starting to leaf out and you can see these new leaves are looking really beautiful and there are some flower birds as well so i can expect to harvest some loganberries strawberries and blackberries this year in the next container i have got a kiwi tree from last year this is hardy kiwi actinidia arguta si and this is starting to leaf out and i have planted it with some pansy plants here are my fox club planter doing well and next to it i have got a truck planter where i seeded some beetroots which are starting to sprout and there are also lots of alism seedlings which are coming back on their own so basically i have got alism plants in this container last year and they are subsided here is my container with muscari plants and some daffodil bulbs looking absolutely beautiful and i will also transfer these bulbs in my front garden once they are done blooming here is another planter with more foscla plants which are a bit tired and this is strawberry planter and it is coming back and this is strawberry tower and these strawberry plants i started from runners last year so they are starting to have some flower buds on them here are two more containers with spring flowering bulbs in this container i have got 12 plants they are coming nice there are six or seven single ones and three or four double and peony ones and here in this container i had hyacinth bulbs four or five of them are done blooming and this is the last one left which is still looking good and i also have 15 20 crocus bulbs in it which are done blooming they were the first ones to bloom in my garden and they looked really beautiful and now they are done in this raised bed i have got strawberry plants on one side of the raised bed on this side of raised bed i direct seeded some carrots there are two varieties of carrots which are germinating nicely and i have got garlic plants on the other side of the raised bed so there are two rows of garlic i think there are 20 plants in total in the middle i have got reddish plants and pea plants i have some bad luck with these plants this year birds are digging them out so basically they come and they dig out the peas seeds and there are not many pea plants which have germinated so let's see how they do and in this raised bed i had um, cabbage plants from fall last year and this is a patch of spinach plants some of them i started indoors in january which are nice and thick and some of them i started direct seeded in march so they are a bit behind here i have harvested some of the cabbages already and rest of them are going bolting so i'm letting them go bolting they will produce flowers which will be good for bees here i have got another bag with strawberry plants in them basically i had lots of strawberry plants i couldn't fit some of them in my raised bed so i planted this bag and this is my plum tree which i'm trying to train as an espalier alongside this fence it is starting to send out new leaves and looking good next in this container i have got spring onions some of them are from last year from fall which i have been harvesting throughout winter and i have also seeded new spring onions which are germinating nicely and in these wooden lettuce raised beds i have got strawberry plants which are in their second year growth they are establishing nicely and they're producing lots of flower birds all of them are june bearing so i will be harvesting some nice strawberries in june and behind i have got a row of sweet peas which are cut flowers so basically i'm having a row of sweet peas behind these strawberry plants and i will train them off this trellis 
and this will produce a beautiful show they are nice and fragrant and ideal for cut flowers and next to it i have got another strawberry tower with more strawberry plants in them which are in their first year of growth started from runners last year and they are starting to form buds as well here is my apple tree which i started from seed and this is growing nicely it has got new leaves already and let's see how it goes so this is the section of my vegetable garden plants are looking good they are doing nice we have had really frosty nights and they are still doing okay i had some bad luck with peas and radish plants let's see how they go and in this container i started some lettuce seeds which haven't germinated and here i have got an apple tree which i'm trying to train as an espalier it is loaded with birds and soon it will be flowering so i can harvest some more apples this year this is a dwarf self fertile variety and i have got it in a container and here another container i have got blueberry plant which is loaded with birds it has got new leaves and there are lots of flower birds and it's doing great and underneath i have got pansy plants so let's go in the greenhouse and see how the seedlings and plants are doing in the greenhouse which need a little bit protection from cold so here i have got grow bags with potatoes in it so i have got six varieties of potatoes and i will include the link in the description box where i planted these grow bags with these potato varieties so if you want to know you can check out that link and here i have got a container with peony plants and it's in the first year it's growing nice and thick and i have got two planters with citrus plants in them this is calamandan orange tree which is basically a miniature orange tree and it has got some nice fruit which is starting to mature now so this is more like for decorative purposes but you can still eat the fruit and here i have got kumquat tree which i have done some pruning on it so it can send out new growth and new flower birds and i have got some pansy plants underneath which are looking really beautiful so i started loads and lots of pansy plants from seeds last year and this is coming in really handy because i have pansy plants all over my garden and they are absolutely free here on these racks i have got lots of seedlings going on so here are snapdragons alyssum some cabbages and cauliflowers not really good germination there and dahlia seedling here are my geranium plants from last year which i overwintered and this is scabios and not really good germination there here are some perennial plants which i started from seed rubecchia and dianthus and there are some petunia seeds which i started which haven't germinated yet some sweet corns and here i have got some sunflowers some of these were started by my kids and some more dahlia plants started by my kids and lupin plant which is growing nicely and here is a tray of trailing petunias which i started from seed they are doing okay and some snapdragon cuttings let's see how they do and some more lupin plants started from seed there is another tray of alism seedlings these are the petunia plants which i tried to overwinter in my greenhouse and some of them are coming back nicely so let's see how they do and there is another lupin plant which is coming back from last year there are some sweet pea seedlings which i may plant in a container and there are some dahlia seedlings doing good and here are my petunia plants which i received from thompson and morgan petunia mystical midnight gold and all the seedlings are doing good here underneath i have got two trays of marigolds which i started from seed i collected lots of marigold seed last year and basically they have germinated really well coming on to this side i have got some fabric raised beds and basically i will plant them later on but for now i have put my tomato seedlings in here so i started these tomato seeds inside my house under grow light and recently i have potted them up and i couldn't fit them in my house so i have to move them outside here in the greenhouse so for extra protection i covered them with this uh, fleece so basically the greenhouse stays warm even at night so it doesn't get frosty but tomato seedlings like warm weather and the cold shift in weather can really put them off so that's why i covered them with extra layer of fleece so they stay nice and warm and i have got eight varieties of tomato seedlings here and lots of tomato plants so soon i will be planting them outside in my raised beds and i will plant my cucumber uh, pepper and aubergine seedlings in these raised beds 
so the garden is looking good and the ceilings are doing okay it's nice and sunny during the daytime but really frosty at night but things are still doing great so if you want to learn more about the progress of my garden in the coming months then please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so you don't miss out on any of my gardening videos you can also join my channel for extra works thank you very much for watching today see you next time bye